welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a full get ready with me for Valentine's Day using all drugstore products. So I have all of my products right here and we are going to do a full face, pretty glam, but not doing lashes, just using my natural lashes today. Very pink focus, pink on the cheeks, pink liner, pink shadow, pink lips, full shebang, Valentine's Day drugstore get ready with me. So if you're interested in seeing me get glam for Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day using all drugstore products then just keep on watching. I have already gone ahead and cleansed and moisturized. I just used like my Neutrogena cleanser and my Drunk Elephant Lala Retro so I'm all hydrated and cleansed. So now it is time to go in with primer. You guys know me. I love primer. I love mixing primers so that is what we're doing today. We have the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion natural glow enhancer and the Catrice Aqua Fresh Moisturizer. Typically, I will either combine like two different moisturizing primers or a moisturizing hydrating primer with a luminous primer. Those are like my go-to mixtures because I have very dry skin. Now that we are nice and prepped for primer, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all into the skin. I've never tried this combo of primers today. I've used both on their own, obviously, but I've never tried mixing them together, this specific combo. I like that combo together. It's very nice and glowy and feels very moisturized, so I'm into that. So for foundation, we're gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid Medium to Full Coverage, and this is in F1. Love this foundation, haven't used it in a hot minute, so I figured I would pull it out today. And I'm going to buff it into the skin initially with my Morphe M439, nice and clean. And then I will go in after a little bit probably with my Real Techniques, but I am going to go in first with with my brush get maximum coverage and you can already see there how good the coverage is on this foundation like it just looks so nice and healthy and press it in even more make it look a little more natural I just really enjoy how that foundation looks it makes my skin look so healthy and it really is a nice hydrating formula and the coverage is there so Definitely recommend if you have dry skin. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, a favorite, and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer, also a current favorite. And I'm pretty blessed right now. I'm actually not breaking out at all. Like I don't have any active breakouts. I don't like saying that out loud because then the universe hears me and I get active breakouts, but my skin's been looking pretty good lately, so hopefully that doesn't jinx it. So I'm just gonna conceal a little bit where I have just like tiny spots and discoloration. Okay, so that was the e.l.f. one. Now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop one just right on top. There is really no rhyme or reason to my concealer mixture. I just have a lot of concealers that I enjoy and I want to use them all at once. That's pretty much all there is to it. Feel free to just use one concealer. I'm just extra. Honestly, it's not necessary at all, but I like doing it, so I'm going to continue doing it. Those are all my spots concealed. As I said, I'm not really breaking out. Those are just spots with like redness and pigment and stuff that we want to cover when I'm going to work and want full coverage. Blending it out with my Real Techniques sponge. And typically I like to do my concealer in two segments like we're doing today. I like to conceal my spots and then I like to conceal my under eyes and set it and then go back to the rest of my face and set my face. I feel like some of the things I do I have a reason to and then some of the things are just random and then they become habitual. Those concealers look really good mixed together. See, sometimes the things that I do that don't necessarily have a reason turn out and then I do them with intention. Now that all of my spots are nice and covered, I'm going to go into my under eyes with the e.l.f. concealer and then I'm going to bake them with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05 Fair. Now that my under eyes are set and baking, I'm going to go ahead with my face powder. I don't 
always powder my whole face. Oftentimes I do. Totally optional step. I have the coverage that I want. Um, this is more just for lasting power because I am working today. I work at Sephora. My makeup has to look good and last. So I'm going in and setting my whole face with the Pixi Color Correcting Powder Foundation in number one cream. And I'm using my Sephora Pro 55, my favorite powder brush ever, ever, ever. And I'm bringing it down the neck so everything looks nice and blended. Now we are all set in place. I think my base looks really, really good. I'll have to keep this in mind and use that combination of products together more often. It looks really nice. Again, just leaving my under eyes to bake a little bit longer and my eyelids are getting greasy and just look weird on camera because they're not concealed and set with powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into eyes now and then we'll go back to face to contour or I don't contour why do I always say that bronze blush heavily blush and uh highlight but for now we're going in with the Milani eyeshadow primer I've used this like twice maybe since I got it I just don't really use eyeshadow primer to be honest I use concealer and it works for me but I have it and it's drugstore so I figured I would use it so I'm gonna go ahead and Probably using too much, pressing this into the skin. I just feel like concealer does the job and it works, but we're trying. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my go-to for pink shadows at the drugstore. This is the Rimmel Magnifies palette in 007 Crimson. Please ignore the glare of my ring light, but I'm going to go in with this soft mauve shade just all over my lids. I really enjoy this palette. I like the Magnifies palettes by Rimmel in general. I have the Spice Edition one and I do really like it as well. I'm now going to go in with this pinkier shade and and take that in like the outer V crease area. For brows, I'm using the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. This is in Dope Taupe. I've been really into this lately. I've been into doing more penciled in brows and having them slightly more natural. So I'm gonna go in and fill them in with the Dope Taupe. Then I'm going to go in with the Essence Make Me a Brow and the Essence Clear brow gel. I'm still like nervous doing this. I've just used the dip brow for years and years and years. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm just going to brush up my hairs a little bit, get that more natural brow look going. I'm gonna stop playing around with my brows. I don't like how they look, but we need to move on. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this liner. Um, this is the Rimmel Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 Liner to Shadow, and this is in the shade, I don't see a shade name on here, but it is the Pinky Red 1, and I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through this. Just doing a nice line and a wing. Classic, basic, hopefully you can see it with this shadow. We will see. Very similar coloring to the shadow I went with, but that's okay. It's subtle, it's there, it's cute. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline City Bronzer. Just going in with bronzer to warm up the face. Oh, and this is in the shade 100, so the lightest. Now that we are nice and bronze, I'm going to go in with highlighter. We are using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighter and this is in Snow Much Ice. It's a nice pinky highlighter and I'm going to go in with this, then do blush, then go back over it. I want it to be very, very pink and glowy. A little over the top, not like super wearable amount of highlight if you know what I mean. You can see how intense that is right off the bat. I'll blend it into my blush as well so it's not just going on the high points of my face. I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit and I'm going to be bringing a little bit of blush on my nose as well. Now for blush I'm going in with one of my favorite palettes using a lot of Rimmel today. This is the Rimmel Blush Palette, the one collaborated with Kate Moss, I believe. And there are three shades. I'm going to go ahead and mix these two together. And as I said, very exaggerated onto the nose a little bit. Super, super pink blush. 
and right on the cheekbones I want more like pink pink so I'm going into this Essence Jelly Keen palette and I'm going to take this bright purpley pink color and put that right on the apples and then a tiny bit on my nose as well. Then I'm going back into the Cody Airspun and topping all of that off. Again, I want it to look very exaggerated, not super wearable. Now that my complexion is done, I'm going to go in with lips. This is the L'Oreal, I wanna say infallible lip formula. I'll link everything down below. But this is one of my favorite liquid lip formulas for work because it lasts really long. And I picked this up last night because I wanted something like bubblegum pink. So this is 434 Eye Saver. And this is a little bit of a thinner liquid lip formula so I'm gonna go ahead and overline a little bit and build it up to be opaque and bright pink. This is how the lip looks. This is exactly what I wanted using the Essence Lash Princess. Building this up to be pretty thick on my top lashes and then the new Essence All Eyes on Me waterproof on my bottom. This is the finished look. I hope that you guys like it. If you want to see more looks like this, like get ready with me for work, I'd be happy to do that because I do my makeup full out for work three to four days a week anyway. So I think it would be fun to film and do more get ready with me's with you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Definitely like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you aren't already. It really does help me out. That is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I hope you have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.